animated movies like Toy Story, Luca, and Coco are loved all around the world for their interesting characters and exciting worlds. But have you ever wondered how these cool characters are made in a 3D world? It's all because of something called 3D modeling. 3D modeling is an important part of making 3D animated movies. It's when artists create characters and places in a digital world. But what exactly is 3D modeling? Well, think about sitting in front of a computer and using special tools to make detailed 3D models of characters, landscapes, and things. This innovative approach to creating art enables artists to transform their ideas into reality. With fancy software like ZBrush, Maya, or Blender, artists move around in a virtual space, changing digital points called vertices. These vertices are like the basic pieces of the model, coming together to make a structure that looks like the model. Artists carefully move these vertices, like shaping clay, to make the object just right. This way, they capture every detail perfectly, making their creations come alive. In your head, you can do this! Okay, silencio Bruno, here we go! Let's look at an example to understand better. Take the character Luca from Disney. He's a cute little boy with a big nose and round eyes. The process of creating him started with concept art, where artists explore different ideas and traits for the character. Once a design is chosen, artists refine it to make sure it fits the movie's style. The modeling process begins with rough blocking, where basic shapes are used to establish the character's overall form. Then, artists add details and refine the model to bring it to life. This stage requires a lot of precision and attention to detail. 3D modeling isn't just for characters, though. It's also used to create big environments. Look at Luca's world. Every object goes through the same modeling process. All these things together make the big world in the movie. Look, it's just not worth it. You don't understand. No, I don't. If you want to learn how to make 3D things for games, check out the Creating Game Assets in Blender 3.6 course by Marteza Ebrahimi. Marteza, who's been in the industry for over six years, will teach you modeling, texturing, and lighting in Blender. This course gives a clear, step-by-step -step guide to making 3D stuff for games. If you're interested, check out the course series. You can find the link below. Now, let's talk more about modeling. There are two main ways to do it. Polygon modeling and sculpting. Polygon modeling is about changing individual shapes by using polygons and vertices, good for things like objects and props. It's precise and fast. Sculpting, on the other hand, is like shaping clay digitally, perfect for making organic shapes and characters look real. Both ways have their strengths and are often used together to make 3D models look real. If you are interested in knowing the in-depth modeling process, please leave a comment in-depth. We will create a video for you. If you enjoyed watching this video, kindly hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more interesting content. Additionally, we invite you to join our lively Discord community, where creative minds from all around the world come together to share their skills and ideas. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you next time.